Hi everybody, Iron Dog 63 here. It's been a while since I made a video. I haven't been feeling well, but I thought I'd, I would like to share my thoughts on this. The Schumer shutdown. That's right, the Schumer shutdown. The government shut down Friday at midnight. Um, it's now Monday. Uh, as far as I know, they're not back up and running yet, which, by all accounts, is probably saving us more money than we could ever imagine anyways. But, it's hard to believe that a person representing citizens, and I mean citizens of this country, it's hard to believe a politician representing citizens of this country would go out as far as to shut down the government to protect non-citizens of this country. By non-citizens I'm talking about illegal aliens. I'm talking about the dreamers, the DACA kids. Them DACA kids don't belong here. They were brought over here by their parents. They do not belong. Their parents don't belong. They don't belong. I don't care. If they want to be an American citizen, then do it the right way. Illegal aliens. And all people are going to say, oh, you mean illegal immigrants. No, there's no such thing as an illegal immigrant. It's an illegal alien. Them political incorrect bastards in Washington that say uh, illegal immigrants are wrong. They're politically incorrect. Now, if you cross our border and come into this country illegal, you have no rights. You don't have one single solitary constitutional right. As far as I'm concerned, when they catch you across the border and you're illegal, they should strip you of everything you own that's worth anything so they can get the money back to ship your ass back to where it goes. That's exactly how I feel. If you got $500 on you, take the 500 bucks and buy that little bastard a bus ticket with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich Keep the other 450 to send his brother, sister, Uncle Mary, and uh, Uncle Aunt and, and niece back home, too. Because they ain't all going to have $500 on them. So, that being said, and when they find somebody, you know, in a house that they're living in, and they're illegal, you take everything. If the house belongs to them, you take it. Yet all the furniture, everything in that house must belong to them because they're living there. You take all that, sell it at a public auction, get what you can get and send Julio or Xavier or Ahmed or whatever his goddamn name is, send them back home or her home. I have no sympathy. And as far as separating families, I don't agree with that 100%. Not if there's an illegal alien here and he's got a family. I don't agree separating the family. I don't agree with that one, 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 one bit. You can't separate the family. I don't believe in that. So I say send the whole goddamn family back over. Let them go live with daddy or mommy or whatever. Let him pay for, or let them pay for his sins. I'm sorry. I may be an asshole, but I tell you what. At least I'm a clear-thinking asshole. I'm not one of these people that, oh, they're so, so bad and they need so much help. I don't give a shit. If you do it right and you do it right the first time and you come over here legally, I have no problem with that. I know lots of people that are here legally. I have no problem with that. We have a farm probably eight, nine miles from here, maybe not even that far, five miles. And at any given time, I can go there and I can find a hundred illegal aliens. And that's, that's not right. And in fact, what I think they had to do to that guy 
is confiscate his farm. That'll teach them, and I think that's what they ought to do to everybody. If you hire illegals, they ought to confiscate uh, your business. That'll teach you. That'll make damn sure you don't want to hire illegals. Forfeiture of your property, your business, with no way and no recourse of getting it back. It's automatic. You lose it permanently. No way of getting it back. I'm all for that. People say, well, what are you going to do about all these vegetables and all these stuff, you know, that need to be picked? What about it? It's not my problem. It's a farmer's problem, okay? There is machines to pick every vegetable out there. The only thing is, is these farmers don't prefer not to buy the machine because they're so expensive. But they don't have to buy the machine. There is plenty of people that are on welfare that if our beloved Trump kicks them off welfare, makes them get a job, if you need money, you'll work. That's plain and simple. If you need money, you'll work. Get them out there to work. We have prisons. These prisoners, they can go work. There's nothing wrong with them. They used to do it all the time, chain gangs. Get them out there, get them working. The farmer can pay the state or the federal government for the labor and the time of the guards, and they pay the prisoner, uh, you know, the prisoners so much an hour. It ain't much. 35, 40 cents maybe, 50 cents an hour. The prisoner gets to, he gets to work. He gets a little fresh air. You got five or six guards out there watching them. You know, hey, I'm all for that. Let them pick them. Ain't no problem with that. And that way the government gets some extra cash. Because you know they're going to overcharge. So if they overcharge for the, you know, for the guard and for the transportation, and they charge a dollar an hour for, you know, every prisoner, and they're only paying the prisoner 50 cents, you know, they're still making money. I have no problem with that. And a farmer shouldn't either, because he's paying these guys 6 or $7 an hour, or $8 or $9 an hour, whatever it is, cash. Because he doesn't want it on the books. So why not pay the government? Pay the prisoners. Pay the people on welfare. And I have no problem with the people on welfare work. And collect some welfare. Because I realize you can't make a living out of that. Unless you've got ten people picking. But if you've got two or three of you, or two of you in the family picking, and you're collecting a little bit of welfare, you get your Medicaid or whatever it is, and you, you know, some food stamps, I'm all for that. I don't care. At least they are doing something. At least they're making some money. And a farmer has to pay him in a check. So it has to be accounted for. That way, we're getting them off their ass and on their feet. We're getting them out of the shade and into the heat. Ain't no more of this bullshit sitting around collecting a check. You know, if you're disabled, that's one thing. If you're retired, that's another. But if you're just plain damn lazy to work because you think the government and the people from the United States, the taxpayers, owe it to you, you have another thing coming. We're getting back to the shutdown. I think it's wrong what Schumer and Pelosi done. I really do. And the Democrats. And them little weasels that are in the Republicans that voted against the bill. The extension. I think each and every one of you had to reflect on your own career. Because I think sooner or later, people are going to realize, hey, you ain't for yourself. Or you ain't for them. You're for yourself. That's all you are. You are for yourself. You want to extend your career so you can get more benefits from the government, get more money from the lobbyists, which is paying you an extraordinary amount, which I don't understand how somebody with a $175,000 a year job can make millions of dollars in 10, 12 years. 
Millions and millions of dollars. Huh, must be something shady going on there, don't you think? I believe so. In the outside world, in your world, in my world, it's called bribery if somebody pays you money to change your mind. In the political world, it's called lobbyist. Huh, who figures? It's bribery and against the law in the private sector, but in the political sector, it's more than welcomed. Yeah, more than welcomed. Isn't that a crock of shit? It's a big crock of shit. I believe that we actually need to go to Washington, kick in the Capitol building doors at the House and the Senate, grab each and every one of them worthless bastards, take them out, tar and feather, each one of them, parade them around Washington for a few hours so everybody can see, make it on national TV and make it on Fox News and not CNN because CNN would say, hey, look at the pajama party that the political party's having. CNN, that's how they would report it. Or uh, p political uh, candidates, you know, senators and representatives fell into a batch of tar and rolled around on a pillow. That's how they would report it. Fox News would tell how it, exactly how it is. Look at them bastards. They all got tarred and feathered. Now, after they're tarred and feathered, take them to the Capitol steps and hang each and every one of them at the same time. CNN would say, hey, look at them. They're swinging in the breeze. They look like pinatas. Fox News would say, hey, look at them bastards. They deserve, each and every one of them deserve that. They deserve what they're getting for the treason that they've done to their country. You know, this is my little rant about the Schumer shutdown. You know, crying Chuck. Back in the, I don't know, I, I can't remember what year it was, but a few years ago, he was complaining about the, and now, illegal aliens, that's what he put it, because he didn't say immigrants, he said illegal aliens. They need to be sent home, they need to be prosecuted, and all this other stuff. Well, since uh, they got their ass handed to them because they can't get anybody to vote for them no more, they decided they better start sucking up and kissing ass to the illegal aliens so they can get them in here, get them legalized so they can get them voted for, you know, to get votes from them. And that's, uh, he just come out with that in 2017 that we need to, we need to take care of the illegal aliens, the, the illegal immigrants, that's what he said, the DACA kids. We need to take care of them. We need to make it so they can have a safe place to stay. My ass! Send the motherfuckers home. I'm tired of this bullshit. If you're in this country illegal, pack your fucking bags and get out. Jesus Christ. You know, what more can I say? They're ruining America. One illegal alien at a time. Ah, this is just my thoughts on it. You can agree with me or you can disagree with me. I don't really care. If you're a subscriber of mine, thank you for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber and you like my videos, please subscribe, because it does help. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. Just watch and uh, hit the thumbs up. That does help. And as always, God bless each and every one of you legal citizens in the United States or in the world. If you're here, if you're here illegally, 
God ain't going to bless you. I think the devil will get you. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Goodbye.